Yo, Crazy Dad 616 here again, and I've just hit 150 subscribers. Dang! Right, I'm gonna do a thank you video. Q credits. Yo, people. Right, before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. That's a little bit random, but it's all right because I speak pig because I'm a bit of a porker. And he said, dang, 150 subs, you rock. Why, thank you, pig. Anyway, on with it. If you're a little YouTube person, oh my goodness, do I edit that out? Do I keep going? No, I'll just keep going. If you're a little YouTube channel, I'm going to do something very nice for you at the end of the video. So if you're a small YouTube channel and you're nice, stay tuned and I'll, I'll show you a bit of love. Right, first of all, I don't want any kids to worry on this 150 sub special. There ain't no Momo in this video. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind if there was a Momo in this video, because you know what? If he came in now, first thing I'd do, I'd rip those little chicken legs off, put them in some flour, cook them up, eat them, and then I would do a live stream for 24 hours, which was just Momo sat on the floor with no legs, just getting slapped, slapped, slapped. But there ain't no such thing as Momo. And even if there was, which there isn't, look at the state of it. Ooh, ooh, dead skirt, dead skirt. Anyway, enough about that little whatever you want to call him. I was uh, talking to the mother-in-law the other day and it's probably fair to say she's not the biggest fan of my channel. And I said, did you get a chance to catch Pauline Pipes? Yes, I did. I didn't like it. What, why? Why was up with it? You, you look like a pervert. A pervert. A pervert. I thought that was a little bit harsh, but there you go. Hey, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Second of all, I was looking at my demographics on my analytics in YouTube and apparently my two biggest groups are 18 to 24 year olds where 90% of them who watch are boys, 10% of them who watch are girls. Now I have got my other big demographic which is 45 to 54 years old and it's amazing that's gone from the big swing with the youngsters to 40% men. 60% women and I have a bit of a theory on that and I'll tell you what my theory is I think I'm getting used by the women as a little bit of eye candy what do you think mm, look at this fresh. Mm. is that why you're tuning in if that's why you're tuning in great lovely now sometimes I get some of my best ideas late at night and I have to wake up and jot them down Sometimes I'm sober, sometimes I'm drunk. When I'm drunk, sometimes it's quality that I write down. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and look at it and think, oh my days, mate, that is useless. And at weekend, I was drunk. And what have I used here? I have written little pepper pig figures trying to jump a fence just speech bubbles, no sound, then you can hear George saying, I can do it. Oh, mm, nice. That's going to help me blow up on YouTube. Maybe I'll just have to pencil that in. No, I'm being sarky. Right, what else? Let's just see if I've written any other junk things down. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what this means. You can change the world. Why not? Probably won't happen. It could happen. Why can't it? Why can't everyone? Why can't everyone what? What? What's that about? No, no. What's that? But whatever was going on in my head, it sounded like groundbreaking. Right. Now, I said I was going to do something nice for some small YouTubers. Now, I don't do this. I, I don't do this for anything in return. I don't do sub for sub. In fact, I don't like sub for sub because basically you're just whoring yourself out for subs. 
and I won't mind, those subs are meaningless, they're a number. But if you're trying to get to that magic thousand and four thousand hours, I think it's going to be a damn sight harder to get four thousand hours than it is to get one thousand subs. And the trouble with these sub, the sub sites, all they're going to do is swap subs, they're never going to watch your content, they're never going to comment, they're never going to get you the minutes, they're never going to give you the thumbs up. It's, it's just bullshit. Do it the clean, decent way. But I woke up, and because I'm on 150 subs, and to be honest, even if I just get one sub a day, I'm buzzing, it puts me in a great mood. But because I've reached 150 subs, I'm, de I'm dead happy, and I'm just loving all this YouTube stuff. I'm going to do something nice for some small YouTubers. If you're a nice YouTuber and you have a nice little channel, you know, nothing to do with, you know, making bombs or dog grooming or anything like that. If you've got a nice, decent channel, me, my wife, my boy and my girl, we both have phones, we all have accounts. I'll throw you not just a sub on all of them, so that's four subs, but unlike these other ones, I'll, I'll, I'll watch your videos on all the devices, get your minutes up, I'll always comment, I'll always give you a like. So even though it would just be four subs, it's gonna get you watch time and stuff. And why am I doing this? Not for anything return. I'm, I'm thinking, why don't we just spread the love, people? Let's just, let's just be nice to each other. Let's just spread the love and just try and help each other out. I might only have 150 subs, but you know, it might help you. I might even start doing a shout out on each video for some smaller YouTubers, just to be nice, just to be helpful. But if you all start just doing nice things for other little people out there, it's, it's gonna work nice for everyone, isn't it? Plus, you're giving a bit of love back. So I want five people who have small channels just to tell me something nice about them and I will pick you know, five of them and later, once I'm uploaded, which takes about 10 hours on my phone, I'll end up subscribing, commenting and liking. Anyway, thanks very much everyone for subscribing to my channel and watching it. It means the absolute world to me. I'm, I'm just absolutely loving this stuff. So, until my next episode, peace. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See ya. Thank you.